Hey guys, in today's design clip, we're going to be creating this simple, sophisticated set of note cards. We're going to use focal images to create a faux toile background. So let's get started. So traditionally when you look at a toile pattern, it is usually made up of a series of images, usually scenery, and they're just repeated images. So our C'est La Vie set, I think, is perfect for pulling off this faux toile look. To create these, uh, the set of note cards, you're just going to need three sheets of cardstock. We're going to be making six cards in three different colors, and I'm starting off with our oatmeal cardstock. We need to decide whether you want your card to be a portrait or a landscape card. And I am going to do a landscape. If you're going to do landscape, you want to stamp your image um, long ways here. And if you are going to do portrait, you would turn your paper and stamp your pattern this way so that when you cut your cardstock down the middle, your images would be facing upright. So I'm going to turn ours this way for these particular uh, examples. So I'm going to start out with the Riding Hood Red. And I'm going to be using this frame image that's in C'est La Vie, which is right here. And I'm going to start in the middle of my uh, page here so that I make sure that I get my pattern even. And the first thing I'm going to do is stamp it right in the middle. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm just going to keep repeating this pattern. I'm going to line it up from corner to corner. So I'll put down my second. So basically what I'm doing is I'm staggering these frames. And then you're going to want to repeat this process and cover your whole sheet of paper. And then once you have the whole sheet covered with your frames, you're going to come in and fill in with your smaller images. And you could choose whatever you wanted from this set. I have chosen to use the, the rose. I'm going to fill in inside of each frame here with the rose. That's what we're going to call it. And now we're going to take another image and fill in these gaps in here. So I'm going to be using uh, one of the little crowns that are um, included in this set. And I'm going to stamp all of this in the same color. Uh, Toile is traditionally one color. If you want to use different colors, you could. I would probably stick to tone on tone so that your pattern doesn't get too busy looking because there's going to be a lot going on here when we're all done. Okay, now that image is all complete, and we're going to add in our final filler image, and this is actually the one that you're going to stamp the most. This is the little B that's included in the set as well, and we're going to fill in all of these little blank spots right here. Alright, once you got them all stamped out, you're going to trim them all down. And remember, since I said I was doing a landscape, I'm going to trim mine to five and a half. And then I'm going to score and fold it. So I'm going to score this one at four and a quarter.
fold it, go over it. And then you'll do the same thing to all of them. And then when you're all done, you have six super simple faux toile note cards. Now, how pretty would these be with envelopes with matching liners? Um, I would probably do those on either a lighter weight layering paper. These are 100 pound cardstock, cover weight cardstock, so they're super thick. Um, I would use, you could stamp the same pattern on printer paper and put it on the inside of the envelopes and tie these up with a satin ribbon or make a card holder and they would be a great gift of note cards for just about anybody. So that's it today. Super simple faux toile. I hope you enjoyed and I will catch you next time.